Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be recapping day one of the Washington football team's mini camp. I'll be showing you guys some clips and highlights from today's practice. I'll also be talking about some of the biggest takeaways and we'll also touch on Chase Young's press conference which I thought was really, really interesting. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So Let's get right into the video and first we'll start out with some of the clips and highlights. We got some clips from, you know, all the DBs doing a blitz drill. We got some clips from the offensive line. We got clips from Taylor Heineke, Deami Brown, Terry McLaurin, Antonio Gibson, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and much, much more. So let's go ahead into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with, you know, an injury update slash attendance update. So, Curtis Samuel, John Bostic, Jimmy Moreland, and J.D. McKissick were all not there today. Um, John Bostic, Jimmy Moreland, and J.D. McKissick were all excused today from, uh, you know, the mini camp. So, probably, you know, maybe some personal issue um, or something like that. And Curtis Samuel is still dealing with with that groin injury so i don't expect him to practice at all this next week and you know it is good though that we have you know seven ish weeks before training camp starts so he should be fully good to go once training camp starts and then james smith williams Dion yelder and greg stroman were all working on the side with the trainer so you know sadiq charles is back from his rest day last week um you know greg stroman always you know injured but I don't really expect him to make the roster. We will see though. So those are the only, you know, injury updates slash, you know, attendance updates. Chase Young, Jonathan Allen, all here. And we'll talk about, you know, the Chase Young thing. His press conference was outstanding. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So here's some plays that happened today. And this is from, you know, Zach Selby, um, who works for the Washington football team. He said Heineke had a really nice play where he scrambled to keep a play alive. And AGG was there in the end zone to make the catch. So good to see those two working together. Um, AGG needs to have a good offseason. You know, I think he'll probably make the team, but it's going to be a very, very tight competition, you know, with him and a couple others to get that final spot. Uh, you know, roster spot or receiver spot. Um, Fitzpatrick had a nice sidearm throw to Adam Humphreys. Apparently, Fitzpatrick had a really, really good day besides one pick where he overthrew uh, John Bates and William Jackson came up with the interception. Jarrett Patterson was looking really good today as a pass catcher. Um, you guys can see some of the other plays right here. Uh, Cam Sims made a really good catch. I do think Cam Sims is going to make the roster. They really, really like him. He has, you know, a higher salary than I think Kelvin Harmon and AGG. Uh, so if they move on from him, it's a little bit more costly. And I really think they, you know, like what he did to finish off the season last year. Um, let's see anything else. Uh, Chase Young update on the offenses. Offenses 
first play of team drills, he rushed past two blockers before getting in Ryan Fitzpatrick's face. He let up at the last second because it's no contact. So obviously, he's still doing Chase Young things and still would have been in an interception. So those are kind of, you know, uh, the plays from today. Nothing major. Um, you know, we'll have some more, obviously, updates in the next couple of days. Um, you know, Cameron Curl, one interesting thing right here. He was playing in the slot today with Jimmy Moreland not there today. So we'll see. I thought, you know, Daryl Roberts would have a little bit more of that role. But again, it's, you know, mini camp. I mean, sorry if I keep saying OTAs just because the last two weeks it's been OTAs. But they're going to be rotating a bunch of players around. So you'll see Daryl Roberts playing in the slot. You'll probably see Bobby McCain playing in the slot. You know, we, re we won't really know until really the preseason on where these guys are really going to play. Uh, we'll see once uh, Landon Collins comes back. I'm going to be very interest interested to see where they put him um, and Cameron Curl at once they both are on the field at the same time. Really, really excited to see that. And I really hope they keep um, Cameron Curl at strong safety and, you know, you know, rotate landing cons around. Put him at big nickel. Put him at strong safety for a few plays a game if, you know, landing or if Cameron Curl needs a break. Um, and then I think, you know, Cornelius Lucas today was getting first team reps at right tackle. Um, Sadiq Charles was getting reps at left tackle, but second team. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. We'll continue to see how this offensive line group shakes out. But I do think ultimately it will be Sam Cosme starting at right tackle once the season starts, unless there are, you know, any uh, major injuries. So now on to the Chase Young, uh, you know, press conference. So this is the reason why he wasn't there. You know, again, for OTAs, it was voluntary. He said he had a lot of things going on this offseason, including five different shoots, which is why he skipped the voluntary OTAs. He still worked out a bunch, and he was saying he was in and out of phase one. So, you know, he was there multiple times, just not when the media was there. Um, and, you know, I just think it was a little bit overblown by some people. You know, he's still a very good leader. The day after Jamin Davis was drafted, I talked about this yesterday. The day after Jamin Davis was drafted, him and Jonathan Allen, the leaders of the defense, took him out to dinner and talked about things, introduced themselves. So, um, and also, again, another thing with Jamin Davis today, um, I'll read this tweet right here from Pete Haley. And really, I encourage you guys to watch the full Chase Young press conference. It was on their Twitter, but they might post that on their YouTube later today. So go ahead and watch that really, really good interview. But right here they said, Jamin Davis got his first Chase Young experience today when Chase was telling Jamin to run off the field at practice. And Jamin looked at him and said, man, you're real serious, huh? Chase's response was, this may matter one day. And I like that, you know, you want to practice like you play. And you never know when you got to get off the field really quickly. And if you're playing Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, you know those guys take advantage. You know they take advantage of these, uh, you know, when there's defenders running off the field and they can get that free play right there. So um, I like to see this from Chase. And, you know, um, I think in a few weeks, a month, no one will remember about you know, how Chase Young wasn't here at OTAs. It won't be a big deal at all. And one thing he also talked about was his injury that really set him back last year. He had a hip injury, which, you know, uh, happened in training camp, I believe, which hindered him a little bit. He was out for a few weeks, and then that still was bothering him a little bit heading into the um, heading into the season opener. And then he, you know, re you know, the hip injury probably led to the groin injury that's what he was saying and he was out for a while there you know he was out for a week and a half but he was still dealing with it for most of the season so I'm excited to see what Chase Young can do in a full season this year I think he's going to have an absolute insane year and I cannot wait to see what this defense as a whole can do so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on this Chase Young thing and any other things you guys heard from today's video and today's practice. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video and peace.